What you focus on in life, you will get more of. Most people know this and yet they focus on the negatives, right? Every single thing they do revolves around some sort of drama, negativity, bad things, right? And all you do is get more of that. And then you wonder why your life isn't changing. What you focus on is what you will get, right? So if you're trying to change your life, you need to change the way you're thinking. I see it sometimes, even in my own comment section, right? People are saying that they're suffering, right? And life's hard and life's so difficult and life's nothing but pain and so on. If you focus on this, that is all life will give you, right? You create your reality. The reality that you experience isn't out there, it's within. So if you perceive things to be negative, to be dark, to be suffering, you're just going to keep seeing that in the world because you apply your own filter, your own state of consciousness onto the world as you perceive it, right? All the things out there are just empty and neutral. And we're constantly giving life our own meaning and shaping our own reality from within. So think about that. What is your mind? What is your reality? What is your filter that you're putting the outside world through? Is it a positive one? Is it a negative one? Because if it's a negative one, then what's the point, right? What's the point in wallowing in that victimization and saying life's so difficult, life's so hard? Change it then. And this is the important point, right? So many people say this and they say they want to change, but they don't. They don't want to change because wallowing in self-pity being the victim is addicting. Right? They're addicted to it. We're addicted to this negative feeling. It's sticky, it attaches itself to you. And it's so easy to want change, but no one's willing to change themselves. And this is a problem so many of us face. We're just blaming the outside world. And we focus on the bad, we focus on the negative, we focus on the difficulties. Life's just going to give you more of that, All right? So you, what do we do then? You have to shift your focus, right? If we use the example of wealth, right? A lot of people want to make more money, they want to be wealthy. Wealth isn't a tangible thing. Sure, we can add a metric to it and say, sure, when you're a millionaire, you're wealthy, Maybe some people say, no, it's when you're a billionaire. Maybe some people say, no, it's when you have a hundred thousand. Again, there's, there's no set point, right? Wealth is an energy field. It's a feeling, right? There can be people that own very little but experience wealth because it's just your perception of how you perceive yourself in correlation in relationship to something else. Do you feel wealthy? Do you feel abundant? And this is the paradox, right? Because we often focus on what we don't have. But we never focus on what we do have. Because if we was to focus on what we do have, then we feel abundant, then we feel wealthy, then we attract more of that into our lives. We know that, right? Yet we don't focus on it. If you're watching this video, you have a phone, you have a computer, you have some sort of technology right, that allows you to see this. You've probably got access to running water, you've probably got access to TVs, everything, right? Internet. To many people, that's extreme wealth, right? Many people in the world don't even have that. Yet, you don't focus on that because you only focus on what you don't have. So once again, wealth isn't a tangible Make this equals being wealthy. Wealth is just an energy and it's a feeling that you have. So how can you feel something when you're attaching something you don't have to it? Because what you're doing is you're attaching X amount of money, X amount of lifestyle, whatever it is, 
that's the outcome. That's what I want. I don't have it, which equals lack, right? How could there possibly be lack in an infinite universe, right? Infinite means infinite. There is no lack in an infinite universe. When you live through this mindset, then you will experience lack. That's why most people experience lack, right? Because that's all they focus on. Because this is the point, right? So many people think this stuff is so mystical and law of attraction, all this stuff is so uh, woo-woo stuff, right? Think about what happens when you shift your perspective on a scientific level. What happens when you shift your perspective from lack to abundance? Your actions change, right? Your perception changes your reality changes because you're no longer living from a state of victimization. You're no longer living from a state of just consuming and just wallowing, right? When you're in a state of abundance, you're in a state of feeling that, then you're more positive, right? So then if you're a positive person, you have more of an impression and connection with the people around you. So maybe now you're attracting more relationships into your life, right? There's bigger chances of networking with other people that can offer you opportunities to make more wealth, make more abundance, right? Maybe when you was in that victim mindset of lack, you don't look around for any opportunities. But when you're in the state of abundance and wealth, maybe you're seeing opportunities to make money now. So we don't have to just imagine it as this like, shift your mindset and all of a sudden money starts falling from the sky to you. It's what happens when you shift your mindset. When you shift your mindset, the way you think, the way you feel, the actions you take, the reality that you create changes and then you attract the new life because you're creating it all of the time. Who you are right now living in this self, this reality, this life, is because of the past. It was the past you that created it with the thinking, with the feeling, with the actions it took back then to bring you here right now. So who you're going to be is based on who you are right now, what you think and what you feel, the actions you take right now. And that's the trouble. We're trying to change our lives, but we're living from the old self. And we may throw in a little bit of affirmation and journaling, but we're not actually really shifting our mindset. We're just saying, I am wealthy, I am wealthy, and then expect wealth just to come into your life, right? You need to completely shift your mindset. And so look for opportunities that reflect back to you wealth, reflect back to your abundance. You go into a supermarket, right? Look at all the stuff you can buy. Don't focus on what you can't buy, focus on what you can buy. Focus on where you live, right? the opportunities around you, the things you can explore, the technology you have at your disposal, the opportunities you have, all of these things, right? Focus on that. Focus on that and then you will be living in that state of abundance. And then when you live in that state of abundance, more abundance comes in, right? That's the law of attraction and action. But it's not going to happen whilst you focus on lack. Shift your life, shift your reality. If you want to learn more about the law of attraction, why it's real and how you can effectively use it, then check out this video I'm going to leave for you after this. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And remember, you're here to evolve.